I'm the local town historian. Let me tell you something about this town. I'm out here in Kansas. This tree marked the end of the Trail of Tears, first grave site. When they rounded up all those Native American Indians, this is the place where most of them just gave up and hit the dirt to become one with nature again. It's really sad how many bodies grew underneath this tree. Eventually, sometime around the uh, 1890s period, some old bastard with half a heart came down and planted a tree. It sprouted up into this beautiful, beautiful beast of nature. A lot of people say that this tree feeds off the Native American bones, blood, and brains that lay on this hollowed earth. Extremely dark, depraved things go on here too. A lot of uh, supernatural occurrences have been reported in the papers. And it's rumored that every 600 years, I, I'm sorry, I meant to say 60 years, a white man turns up dead at the base of this tree. This is the true tree of death. Ain't nobody seen nothing like this before. It was, it was almost as bad as the Holocaust, but it happened on American soil. Here's the uh, steel pole that was erected at one point in the 1940s. This was actually a basketball court and everybody would come on down here and have fun together until one day uh, lightning struck the pole, missing the tree completely and destroyed this basketball hoop. At that point, it was official in the town history books that this is a haunted place. Every now and then I like to come around here and uh, see if there's anything going on out of the... Jesus Christ. The corpse of a white man. Has the tree reclaimed a life once again? Dark days. I'm going to get on my cell phone and call uh, 911. It's very important that I uh, get word out to uh, law enforcement that uh, those goddamn Indians finally took another one. What's that? Do I hear something? Do I? Oh my God, it's a real demon. I just caught a real demon on tape. A murderous demon. Oh no! <laughs>